So the starting material for this oleo sponge is polyurethane foam, which is manufactured on a massive scale globally. Hundreds of millions of tons are made every year. It's what's in seat cushions and all kinds of other things. But that polyurethane foam doesn't have this property. We play with the surface chemistry to give it this property where it loves oil and hates water. No one really thought about the oil that was under the surface of the water much until relatively recently. I think it was Deepwater Horizon that really uh, brought that to the forefront because you could just see the shots of this uh, you know, uh, wellhead spewing oil under the water and these huge clouds under the surface. And people started thinking about, wait a second, you know, uh, first of all, where is all this oil going? What is the impact it's having? And then importantly, how do you clean it up? What do you do about it? And that oil dispersed down in the water can wreak destruction on an unprecedented scale. And we have no way to clean it up today. What this sponge is, is the first technology that we know of that can actually get in there and pull that oil out of the water. By pressurizing crude oil through some nozzles under the water, they could make this cloud of oil droplets inside the water using different types of crude oil and also diesel fuel. And that cloud would then encounter this wall of our sponge that we had created, and it would soak it up. And then you'd pull this, these pads out of the water and run them through a compression ring or squeeze out the fluid that you absorbed and, and measure it. So looking at the pads that we used at the OMSET facility, these kind of roughly two foot by two foot pads of, uh, with this foam integrated into it, one of those pads, if you just stuck it in pure oil, it would soak up something like 10 pounds of oil, which is about a gallon and a half.